Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Danny Stone from Danny Stone Outdoors. You know, there's a lot of days that I get off work and I don't have a whole lot of time before it gets dark, but I still want to go fishing. Okay, well, what do you do? Well, instead of packing up and trying to take a long trip over to the river and setting up a bunch of rods and packing up bait and stuff, you can take a quick trip. If you've got some ditches, ponds, creeks, or anything like that around close to your house. Just throw an ultralight rod or a lightweight rod in there, some lures, a couple lures, take a couple lures with you. Hit some bridges, some ditches, and stuff like that. Throw them lures, catch you a couple fish, man. That's all there is to it. And that's the subject of today's video. I call it Bridge Bouncing for Bluegills and Bass. That's a mouthful, and it's lucky I didn't stumble on it. But I did a few times, so this is actually like take 12. Anyway, watch the video, give it a big thumbs up, or thumbs down if you don't like it, and let me know what you don't like, and we'll work on it for you. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because we need to get this channel to grow. Watch this video, hope you enjoy it. God bless you, we love you. Alright. Grab the rod. Oh, if I can reach it, there. We're at bridge number two. Let's go see if we can find any action down here. Man, somebody's been dumping trash down here. I hate that. Okay, we got a lot of rocks and stuff, which is generally good because it draws them bass. Man, that water is shallow. I don't know if we're going to find anything here or not. There's a kingfisher there. That's usually a good sign. So let's set our camera up right here. Mm. All right. I don't, this spot here don't look real good to me, honestly. It's hard to sneak down here on them. Thank you. 
Yeah, if I would have, I would have never hung that rod up. I would have waited out there and got this fish. Ugh. Nice little bass right there. He's a cute one. Healthy too. Uh, later, fellas. All right, <clears throat> we're tied back on. And I figure we've blown this spot out, but we're gonna move and throw downstream and see if we can do anything there. I should have had this camera down here a while ago. I see something splashing around down there. Uh, let's see if we can't get something going here. Man, I'm almost tempted to go back over there and try that one spot again. Yeah. Well, let those fish settle down, so. Well, maybe you Green sunfish hit that lure. Now we call these rice sticks. We usually use these for catfish bait. But look at here how he ate that. He swallowed that whole daggum thing. But little green sunfish right there. That's fine. Alright, we are at our next bridge. Let's go see if we can make something happen. Get the rod out. Head on over. I ain't, even, I ain't even looked at this one yet. Don't know what's going on here. Maybe fish, maybe not. Let's take a look. I'm not seeing anything. And generally I like to spot them. I don't see anything. What is that right there? Not sure if that's a fish. Might just be a clump of weeds. I don't see any fish on this bridge on this side at all. Wait, wait, wait. There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. Can't tell what kind of fish. Can't tell what kind of fish that is. Maybe a gore. Let's check the other side. Sometimes the downstream side's a little better. My camera work is not very good today, and I apologize for that. Let me look. I'm peeking around here. You want to slip up here real slow. All right, we got some big bluegills playing there. And generally, where you got those big bluegills at, you will find some bass just trying to eat them. And the water's a little deeper here, so we're going to set up right here. Oh, there's a huge bass, huge bass, huge bass. There's a huge bass right down there, right under the bridge. Let's see if we can get...
I wish I could get eyes on that big bass again. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, here we go, here we go. What we got? Ah! What in the world was that? Dad, gum it. That's a big old fish. I think it was that one we were trying to find. I didn't even feel him pick that up. I did not even feel that fish pick that up. At all. Dead gummit. Oh! Ah, he got off too. Alright. We done blew this one out. That was that big bass, I think. Because uh, he picked it up under the bridge. Let's throw one more time right here. And bring it right along the bank. Just work the bank. Work the bank. If I would have been under the bridge, I would have picked that fish up. I would have got him. All right, next bridge. All right, we're at the next bridge. Let's grab the rod and go see what we can do. That's a cool little go-kart. Hopefully they don't start acting stupid on the bridge and scare off everything. So, woo, this may be way too shallow to hold any fish. There is a deep hole right over here that might have something on it. Let's look in there and see if we see any movement. There's a box spring mattress that I do not want to get caught on. I see a fish moving right there. Let's go ahead and get the camera set up. And we'll throw on him. He doesn't look to be very big. He doesn't look to be very big at all. He's just a small little dinker dinker son. Dinker dinky. Let's work through that big deep hole right there. There's a hole that's really deep right here. It may have something hiding in it. Oh, oh! Yeah, he came after it. He came after it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got to get him. He charged it. He charged it. Get up on him. Let's bring it through there a little slower this time. Oh, 
Dad, gum, what is that? That may be a spear. A big old monster bluegill. I can't tell. He's almost straight down from me, too. Let's get up here. That fish has charged that lure twice. They missed it both times. Oh, that gum! He just keeps coming at it. We have got to hook this fish. You little cop picker. Dad gum it. Quit messing around. Get it in your mouth. I may be pulling, I, I may have slowed my retreat down just a little bit. Now let's go deeper. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. We got him that time. That is, believe it or not, I want you to look at here. That cotton picking. Now, these are called a, I think I call a pumpkin seed, but look at that. That lure's as big as his head, and he chased it down and laid the smack down on it. He grabbed it. But this same fish hit that three or four times. Thank you, buddy. See ya. Get on back down into your little hole there. I wonder if there's another one in there. I wonder if there's another one in there. Because there's... I mean, that's a deep, dark hole right there. Straight down. The water is shallow everywhere. Except for right there. Ooh, I see some big old fish moving around right there. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there's more fish in there. There's more fish in there. He slapped the crap out of it. Oh, we're going to work this hole. We're going to work this hole. This we are. I think my bait, I, I bet if I switch to that little crappie jig, that I would hook up on these. I almost bet you, if I throw that little crappie jig on here, that I would be hooked up on these fish. That bait may be a little too big for them. We haven't even looked at their side of bridge yet, so we don't know if there's anything there or not. We're just going to work this deep hole right here. Well, we know there's another fish in there because he charged it. After we hooked the one and threw it back, we cast in again and another fish hit. I don't really want to throw by that. I'm kind of nervous about throwing by that bed spray. Oh! Yep, he came after it. Go, go. I think that's just a bunch of big blue gear. Let's work it past that bed spray. There he is, there he is. There he is. There he is. What is that? Look, oh, look at that crap. That is a little green sunfish. And I want you to look at the size of that bait compared to him. And he lit that up. Oh man, something has ate his tail. Look at that. It has ate his tail clean off. You ain't got no booty. But we're going to let you go, Freddy Fred. Bye there, baby boy. Let's see if I can catch your big brother. That is some really small fish to be hit with. Oh, he's coming out there. He's got it. He's got it. Look at that. Same size. And you know it ain't the same fish because look, he's got all his tail. But look how big that bait is and them little suckers are hitting it. See you later. He's going right back to that hole. Right, we're good there. Let's check the other side. Let's check the other side of the bridge. See if there's anything over there. Take a quick look. Uh, usually the downstream side of these bridges is the better side. For some reason, they're uh, always real shallow on the upstream side. I don't know if they dig the... Uh, Dig the bridges out underneath there. I don't see any fish. We're gonna throw right in here though and see if we can get something to hit.
Somebody threw a trash barrel off in the water right here. That always just ticks me off. There's car tires and trash barrels all under here. Power chasing a big old bluegill. Alright. Let's bounce to the next bridge. All right, next bridge. This one here is kind of sketchy because uh, it's on the main highway and people will run over you. There's cars flying, man. They cut you no slack at all. But we're gonna see if we can slip out here. And, uh, Get on something. So, a little bit of walk out here in the middle of traffic. It's not. Fun. Oh, I got plenty of room here. Stand. If they hit me, they hit me on purpose. That's all I said about that. Somebody killed a gar and threw it up here. <laughs> so let's work this little spot right here. Let's take a look. Oh, I see some turtles. Let me see if I can see any kind of movement down here. Take a look real quick. Oh, Ooh, there's something big moving right there. Right there. Let's see if we can make something happen. Let's see if we can make something happen. I'm going to set the camera up on the other side here because that way that sun's not shining right in y'all's eyes and uh, killing your Oh, there's one attacked it. He's chasing it. Oh, I can almost bet you we're going to hook something here. Oh, there's a huge bass. Huge bass. Oh, he saw me. Dead gun. He saw me. He saw me. He looked up and saw me, and man, he shot like a rocket. That was a big bass. He can't be the only one in there. Man, that was a big old bass. That was the biggest one I've seen today. He went right under the bridge. See what I'm saying about these bridges? That fish ran right under the bridge for cover. He's, he, I leaned over the edge and he saw me. And man, he ran right under there. If you watch some of his cars, we'll see how close they can get without actually getting me. It's kind of irritating, to be honest with you. Very irritating. I want to try something for that bush right there. Perfect shot. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh! Oh, I missed him. Missed him, missed him, missed him. I knew it right under that bush. Right under that bush. But I'm scared to throw in there because I'll wind up landing in the freaking bush. Oh, perfect shot. You know there's a fish there because he just banged on that lure. I 
I think we need to go to a safer bridge though. This one here is kind of sketchy. Look at the size of that freaking gar. Let's see if we can get him to buy it. I'm going to drag it right across his nose. Yep, he bit it. He bit it. He bit it. He bit it. <laughs> oh, that is a big old gar. That is a big old gar. Let's see if I can get the camera over here where y'all can see this. See that down there? Ryan, you little sucker. Get out of them weeds. 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 See him right down there? I'm hoping he comes off the hook. I really shouldn't have even done that. Oh, let's get some slack back on him. Oh, he's trying to go under the bridge. He is going to break me off. I almost double dog guarantee you. I wanted to see the hook. See him down there? Come on, buddy. Throw the hook. Throw the hook. Throw the hook. Throw that hook. Throw it. Throw it. That thing is way too heavy. There's no way I'm going to lift him up. Maybe if I can even shake his head real hard. I'm going to have to try to pick him up. And it is not going to go well. I promise you it's not. Come out there. Come out there. I can't believe we hooked him that good. Alright, let's see if we can lift him up. I'm, fi I'm fixing to lose a lure. I just guarantee you I'm fixing to lose a lure. Fixing to lose a lure. We're gonna try to let's try to winch him up. Oh, he's way too heavy. No way I'm gonna pick him up. No way. Oh, there it went. He gone. He gone. That was kind of dumb, actually. Well, let's go get rigged up again. And throw the other side. Alright, so we're going to throw on the other side of the bridge now for just a minute. It looks really shallow here though. So I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, well, that gum. I'd want to hit it when it hit the water. He grabbed it when it hit the water. Do it right back at me. Yeah, I think that's going to be way too shallow right there to hold any fish. You got to find the on these bridges, you got to find one of the deep holes. Are. Show, dude, what's going on? Oh. All right, I didn't have the camera on, but I hooked up. But we got a little bass on here. Oh, he's a puller. Oh, I better, I better lighten that up. Lighten it up some. I mean, I threw it out there, and he's a pretty little bass. I threw it out there, and he ran to get it. Did you see him? I don't yeah, know yeah. if he wants to be on camera or not, but I got one of the best crappie fishermen in southeast Missouri sitting behind the camera right now, Mr. Brandon King. Yeah, Danny's lying too. No. <laughs> he just don't want nobody to know what he can do. Alright. I'm going to do it 
pier fishing down in Florida. And a lot of times you break them off doing this. But we're going to get him this time. I'm going to flip him up here. Woo! Pretty little bass. Right there. There's nothing. Thank you, fella. All right, we're going to end that right there. Busting bass and bluegills bouncing on bridges. There you go. Outdoors from Dan Stone. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, this is going to be our last stop today, so we're going to see if we can get something to happen here. But we have switched out the baits. We went with a curly tail jig. It's an old rusty one I had to bomb in the tackle box, so we'll see what happens with it. Well, I, these fish here are really spooky. I mean, you really got to sneak up here on them. So we got to be very careful what we do here. Let's get this camera set up as best we can. I'm going to try to be able to frame that out. Anytime you get that grass or this moss on here, it scares them fish off. And it's really hard to fish these weed beds without getting grass and moss on. There's so much freaking grass in here. If we can ever get a cast down there with all these weeds sticking to the litter, we got a shot. Got grass all over it. We all over. We may not be able to fish this spot. Two dead gum and weeds. Two. Somewhat avoided the weeds that time. Not perfectly. Should have for one more out before the sun goes down. That was a big bass. Oh my god. That thing was freaking huge. That was a big bass. Oh, we're hooked up again. That was a gar. He spit it. Thank god. He spit it out. That was a big old gar. Well, 
as much as I hate to admit it, I think that's going to be the end of this bass fishing video.